God of War's been in development for about three years, roughly. It's including a pretty, a fairly lengthy pre-production cycle. And basically, it came from Dave Jaffe's head. There were so many ready-made play mechanics and gameplay mechanics in the Greek myths already that it was just like Medusa's head and Zeus's thunderbolts and battling Cyclopses and that mixed with just my love of the material was like, okay, this is, this is what we got to do. We got to do this game. Dave Jaffe came up to me and goes, what do you think about Greek mythology? I was immediately uh, intrigued by it. When they said, hey, we're thinking about Greek mythology for God of War, I was like, yeah, let's, let's definitely do that. The creative director of the game, Dave Jaffe, definitely comes up with a lot of this kind of stuff, and he you know, likes to involve the team in the design. So he comes up with ideas, you know, we sit around, he comes around, asks us our, his famous like one to 10, what do you think about this idea? God of War is our attempt to really elevate the action adventure genre to the next level. We wanted to bring combat, exploration, navigation, puzzle solving, all of sort of the classic elements of the genre, but we wanted to bring those to players in a fresh way, in a way that they haven't really seen before, and also at a scope and at a level and sort of this epic feel that they haven't really gotten before in a game. That's the whole idea behind God of War, is it's not just a game, it's, it's, it's an adventure like a movie. The sheer amount of, of concept art and work that went into developing all the characters and the look and feel of the game is, uh, is pretty unique. I've never seen so much effort put into uh, you know, concepting a game out, making sure that, that every environment is unique and uh, fits in with the theme of the game overall. I gave them my influences. It's really to their credit that they were able to sort of uh, extrapolate uh, what I was really going for into art, amazing art. So. I, I ended up sort of getting what I wanted, which was this high adventure, amazing fantasy setting, which was uh, inspired by the stuff that I grew up with, the movies that I grew up watching. But exactly how the game ended up looking the way it did was really, you'd have to ask the artist. Charlie Wynn has been part of the studio for quite some time, and what he's brought to God of War is um, extremely valuable. A lot of my job is to um, create images of um, what the game feels like. The mood of the game is, is, is dark. Uh, the main character, main character Kratos, is, is a very uh, disturbed character. The things I said to him, I said, brutal, nasty, violent, um, antisocial, pissed off, angry, fuck you. That was my direction to Charlie. Uh, the hardest part about um, making Kratos was that the storyline wasn't really there yet. And so I was trying to create a character that um, didn't have that story behind him yet. I just said, come into work and get angry and see what happens. What they came back with was their versions of anger and the things that they were mad at and the things that, it was really kind of neat because you got to look at the concept art and kind of see how everybody dealt with anger and madness and chaos. The solution was to sort of start stripping away everything. Every time we took away a piece of armor, every time we took away a helmet, a shield, we started seeing more of this animalistic side to this character. Once we got that, it was just an issue of whittling it down, you know, from those 15 images, all of which felt the most brutal, and said, out of all these 15, that's the one. God of War is our attempt to really elevate the action-adventure genre to the next level. We're trying to do so much right now. Um, I mean, we want to bring this, um, you know, this experience to, to people, and we want it to be realistic. In order to do that, we have to push the PlayStation 2 as far as it possibly can go. We use uh, a, a well-known art package called Maya um, uh, to do almost everything in our, in our game. When we first started the game, it was how do you create beautiful, lush environments that are high polygon count, high texture detailed, beautiful lighting, and just consistent through the game. Technologically, four or five years into a console, you know, most of the, of the big problems have been solved, so it's just a question of doing it better than everyone else. You first start with the sheet, and the sheet is um, also known as collision. That's the, the very bare bones minimum 
level of detail that the player actually interacts on. Any of these walls that the player can't go beyond. So this is the confines of the level. This is what, you know, what you're actually playing in, but that's not what you see. That's what the game's running in the background. If I turn the sheet off, now you can see there's actual artwork associated with that. Well, we definitely wanted to make the player feel like they were in uh, ancient Greece. You know, to go from really dark, depressing feelings where you feel like, ah, I, have to, I just want to get out of here, to, um, you know, very bright and you're in the desert and it's, it's, you know, it's to make you feel like, wow, okay, it's a vast world, you know, it's a really big world out there. God of War is, is it's going gonna, it's gonna to look real, but it's also going to have a take to it, you know, like a little bit of a fantasy twist. Um, over the top, like blood and guts. I don't think that there's any other PlayStation game that achieves that that's out there. Every character in the game starts out with a, a single pose that every single animation derives from. When I'm starting to move like this, bring in the base pose, and then kind of just start to block a few things out. Maybe even with general, just kind of moving the whole character all as one, getting the timing for things, and then building out from the pelvis. So get the pelvis motion right, then get the chest involved with the pelvis, and maybe start doing the arms, come back with the legs, and then finish with the head and the fingers. So sort of whittling down until I get to that right. final look. The original vision, I think, what was what we wanted was very, very brutal. It's funny because we were like, let's go find some fight scenes um, in movies, and, and that's how we want this guy to move, and that's how nasty we want him to be. And it's weird because when we thought we'd find all these great movies, m movie fights are really kind of tame when you think about it. And we actually ended up with only two or three movies uh, that really, really obscure films too. That really, when you saw it, you were like, oh my god, that is just some nasty stuff. <laughs> There's been quite a few uh, gameplay design sessions or, or meetings with the animators where we we get extremely uh, uh, <laughs> we move around a lot. My setup situation as I'm putting enemies into the game and I'm, I'm trying to get them very playable so that they can be placed in levels and go around is this big cartoony shaped, uh, very bright arena. And it's just a big wide open space and I put the guys in that and uh, I fight with them there, I tune them there, I set up all their moves and combos and their reactions. The Medusa head animation, uh, ripping the head off the Medusa, very long development cycle for that one. It was redone several times. We obsessed over it. I, obs I pissed off everybody. The animations aren't brutal enough. The art's not brutal enough. There's not enough blood. I want this game to make players just go nuts and feel that sense of anger and chaos. We're really, really hammering the quality and trying to get it to be as top-notch as we can get it. There are several other games out there that are, that I would consider that are kind of the top tier in animation, and we're trying to either meet or exceed what they do. People are gonna go, oh my god, this is what action-adventure games have, have, have supposed to have been since the very beginning. I always say this is the game I've been wanting to make since I was a little kid. God of War, from a production perspective, has been extremely challenging. There's a number of areas that, um, you know, we've really been pressed time, money, resources. Making the game was definitely a fight. Uh, me and the team butted heads a lot. And there was this anger, I guess, that built up inside of me that I think I really transferred over to Kratos. And I look at Kratos now and it's like, that's me. We, I think we verbally abuse each other multiple times during the day. It's one of those, it's a great high-low thing. 
we start out the day we're really happy and then throughout the day we get very upset with each other and then happy with each other and then upset and hopefully we can leave and we're happy with each other and then we come back and we're happy with each other again. I'm always the guy that the engineers want to strangle because I try to absolutely push this engine to the max. We've wanted to strangle each other at least once a week. The prospect of beating the shit out of other workers has, uh, you know, occasionally arisen. We, we have not actually had any fist fights on the game yet. Um, no, I, fist fights certainly aren't um, allowed in a professional environment. If we're going to get into a physical fight, it's going to happen in the next three months. We're going into the, the most uh, stressful time of making a game, which is the alpha beta process. Alpha. 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 Alpha, baby. Alpha. So we're an hour from alpha. Nothing's tuned and nothing's finished. What I am is tired. Tired. Tired, uh, tired and more tired. This is what Alpha is, right? All the pieces are there, but it doesn't play right yet, and it doesn't feel right yet, and... Uh... There are a couple of big bugs that people are working on. If we don't get them by seven, then we'll get them done by eight or nine or 10. Three years and we're almost done. Light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really, I'm so happy we're an hour away from being able to say at least we have a game. Playtesting is uh, fantastically important and, and this is the first game that we've, we've really gone to town on, on the playtesting uh, while the game has been in development. We, we'll bring you know, five or six people in from, from uh, the local colleges and uh, we'll sit them down in front of the latest version of whatever level we've been, uh, we've been building and we'll watch them play it and we'll notice all of the things that they don't do right or all the times that they can't find the way to solve a puzzle because we've obviously not highlighted it well enough or if they can't see the door in the background then we'll add an extra light in so it's highlighted. It's really kind of like making, a, you know, it's like making a movie. At the beginning of the project, we decided we were going to build a, a, a playtesting room in our office, um, and uh, that has proved to be a very good decision. There's our huge PlayStation booth. So, so good to be one of the big titles this year, so hopefully it'll get some attention that we think it deserves. I think whether you're into mythology or not, I think you can't deny the power of a game made by passionate people. God of War is a game that uh, anyone can pick up and play and have a really uh, fun experience. You should play God of War because it'll get you laid. This is the adventure that the back of the box has always promised you. God of War is fucking rad.